everybody welcome to the channel my name's Jane so hello if you're new here and you've just clicked on this video and hi welcome back if you're already existing I do appreciate you sticking around so tonight it's meals of the week and we're on Monday um tried to be good today so I've done some potatoes this morning boil them put them in the oven with a bit of fry light and some chip seasoning I've just got two packs of chicken, the ones that's in the cooked meat section from, oh, I think it was Aldi. And I've just put them in some gravy to warm. And then I've just done some sprouts because we was in Asda yesterday and there was some sprouts on offer for just 10p for a bag, the fresh ones. So I thought I'd buy them. They didn't look amazing, but I've peeled them and they look quite nice now. So that's our tea for tonight. Hope everybody's had a lovely weekend. Any nice, did you do anything nice? Um, I had my granddaughter all day on Saturday and she's, how old is she? She's about 15 months old. She's hard work. She never sits still for five minutes, but she's adorable. <laughs> so I took her home about seven o'clock and then I was just done for the night. I was just tired by that time. Sunday, I had a bit of a lazy one. Did a bit of cleaning, a bit more shopping. That was it. That was my weekend. So, just get the potatoes out. I like them to go a little bit crispy, but mm, they're not too bad. They're a little bit crispy. I took all my autumn decor down. I was really upset to do it because it's only been up for about two or three weeks. But I've packaged it all up nicely in a storage box and I've put it all back in the loft. So that's one job done. Now I've started looking at a few more <laughs> Christmassy bits that I can buy. I'm not going to go over the top with the Christmas bits because, you know, you can buy too much, can't you? And then it's daft really. It's just a lot of money spent as well. So I'm trying to be good. Says. Never happens. I always see things I like and think, oh, I need that. Andrew's the voice of reason behind me going, oh, what are you buying now? Do we really need that? Right. Yeah, of course we do. Good job is there sometimes, though, because he needs to rein it in. He needs to rein me in a bit. <laughs> Just been looking at advent calendars and I I want an advent calendar, but I don't want to spend a fortune. I just want something nice to open every day in December. I'm thinking maybe crystals or jewellery, but I don't know if you could get a nice jewellery one for the price I want to pay, <laughs> which is not a lot. calendar let me know which one you're getting if you've got any recommendations but you always get things that you don't actually like which that's a bit off-putting isn't it you spend all that money and you get a couple of days where you don't even like what's in it or I could buy one of the wooden ones and put my own bits in that's another option so this is just the chicken that's ready cooked. I do like to make things easy for myself. <laughs> like you already probably know. Because I just don't see the point. You get all the nicest pieces of chicken. You don't get the faff of picking all the bits off it. And it's just, just dead easy to do, isn't it? Don't have to have the oven on all night trying to cook it. Why would you make your own? So Alex is not in. He's out again. Don't think that boy is ever in. But he's having the same as us when he does come back. So I'm trying to be a bit healthier this week. I say that now because it's Monday. <laughs> And I've got good intentions, 
but we'll see how that goes by the time it gets to like Wednesday or Thursday. So that is our tea on a Monday night. We've got potatoes, chicken in chicken gravy and some fresh sprouts. Looks rather nice, I must admit. So I'm off to enjoy and I'll see you tomorrow night. Bye guys. Hiya guys, so it's Tuesday night and tonight I made um, a spaghetti bolognese. I should have been more prepared and asked somebody to put the mints back in the oven to warm it before I went out, but I never. So it's quite late, it's Tuesday night and I've just been teaching my yoga class. Quite a busy one tonight. I actually think people will start dropping off soon when it gets to like December. I don't know if to take a good few weeks off in December. Um, just to have a little bit of a break over Christmas because I know people have like parties and nights out going on. Um, so yeah, might do a couple more weeks and then take a bit of a break. So this is Andrew's favourite tea. He asks for this every week and he never gets it because <laughs> it's not my favourite. But tonight he's got spaghetti bolognese, um, just that tonight and he doesn't like it in a bowl so he wants it on a plate. So that is our tea on a Tuesday. It beats the ready meals anyway, so I'm glad I've not got something like that for me tea tonight. But I'll see you again tomorrow guys. Good night. Hiya guys, it's Wednesday night and tonight we're having jackets with cheese. Alex is having some hash browns in the shape of stars and we've just got some of the fish strips which are from Iceland. I really like these, they're really nice, quick tea and everybody likes them. So, can't go wrong with that. I do like it when you can have a tea that everybody's going to eat the same thing and not be saying, oh, I don't like that, I don't like that. There's always somebody that says they don't like something. In our house there is. So yeah, that's the idea for tonight. I was going to do chicken breast. No, chicken thighs they were. I got two packs of chicken thighs. Um, and I was going to do them, but it was in the fridge in the garage and I just couldn't be bothered going outside because it was really cold. So I thought, oh, do the jackets tonight instead with some fish strips and beans, and then might do the chicken tomorrow. I've been dead cold today, and I just couldn't be bothered going outside. Really lazy that, isn't it? I should just get my act together. So, yeah, I'm just gonna warm some beans as well. Alex won't be having beans, because he don't like them. Should have made some broccoli, really, but I didn't think. Everybody's all right. Hope you're having something nice for your tea. I actually got hold of the dress I was after. I don't know if it was last week. I was on about a dress from Marks and Spencers, and they said on the internet that they had one in stock. But I had to go to my local um, M and S to try and find it. So I did go. It wasn't in the shop. I couldn't see it. So um. I went back online because I was thinking about getting the advent calendar from m and because you could get the calendar for, I think it was £40 if you spent so much. So I was looking for the advent, but it's sold out. Um, but they had the dress in stock, so I got the dress. And it's, I really like it, it's dead comfy, it's a bit of a stretch in it. I just need a skinny belt now to go with it. So yeah, I'm chuffed I got the dress. It's like black jersey material with coloured dots all over it. Nice daytime dress that you can just wear with anything. So that is our tea on a Wednesday. We've got jackets, covered in cheese, fish strips and baked beans. And Alex is having hash brown stars with his fish strips. And that's tea for tonight. So I'll see you tomorrow night, guys. Bye. Hiya, guys. So it's Thursday night and tonight I've made some chicken thighs. They're supposed to be boneless. Got them in Morrison's. Oh, hang on, was it Morrison's? No, it was Asda, I think. Got them in Asda at the weekend. So I just got two packs and I've had them in the slow cooker this afternoon. So they're ready. I've just put some chips in. Do you know when somebody talks you into something and you know it's a bad idea, 
but you go ahead with it. We got these rubbish chips from Asda, the cheapest ones, you know their own essentials range or whatever it is. They look terrible. And I knew when I bought them I shouldn't have. I should have just stuck to Harry Ramsden's or Aunt Bessie's or something like that. Because with chips you can tell when they're rubbish. So I went with it and now I'm thinking I shouldn't have. But sometimes you've got to just let it go. And that's it. <laughs> that's all I'm saying. <laughs> Let them have their own way. Just hoping though that these are boneless because I don't fancy picking all the bits out of them. So I hope everybody's alright. I'm really glad that it's getting towards the end of the week. Because this week has just gone on for a long time. I just feel like I've my working week's gone on really slow this week. I had a rubbish day in work today. But I shouldn't moan. But I will. <laughs> oh dear. Do you think you just moan as you get older? I think that's what it is. And me and my daughter have just been chopping up carrots and swede. <laughs> and you know what? I said to her, there's a reason why people buy swede ready done in a bag. Because it just took us about an hour. Well, a bit of an exaggeration, but it took us forever to chop up the veggies. But at least I got her doing a job. She usually sits on the couch and watches me do it. has got his friends round so he said he'll have his tea after when they've gone home we've got some sprouts left from the ones that we got in Asda which was 10 a bag because it was like towards the end of the life but it was all right they were we've had them a couple of times this week and then just made some gravy as well. So I'm looking forward to tomorrow. I've got lots of things to do tomorrow. I've got a lot of cleaning up to do. What else have I got to do? There's a couple of Christmas presents I need to go and collect. Well, the problem with buying stuff early for Christmas is storing it in a... I just haven't got anywhere to put it. I've put some things in the loft already. Oh, that is extremely thick. <laughs> oh dear. No, that might be too thick. Anyway, um, it's storing it, isn't it? If you're buying stuff now for Christmas, because I've got my three kids to buy for, I've got my granddaughter to buy for, and all of Andrew's family. And yeah, that takes a lot of room. <laughs> so yeah, um, got to do that. What else? There was something I've got to do, and I can't remember what it is. Does anyone else have this problem where they just can't remember things? I was in a shop the other day and my pin pin number went out of my mind completely. I was like, stood at the till thinking, oh my God, what am I going to do? I just can't remember. <laughs> it's embarrassing. I don't know if it's just like a me thing or just... And I'm even finding it hard to concentrate in work at the minute. My brain just keeps switching off. I don't know if I've got something going on. So that's number two on uh, Thursday. <laughs> God, <laughs> I don't even know what day it is. We've got cheap rubbish chips from Asda. I'm saying the rubbish, I've not tasted them. Carrot and sweet, sprouts and some boneless chicken thighs. So that's tea for tonight and I will see you again tomorrow. Good night, guys. Hiya, guys. So tonight's Friday. And today we're just having something really quick. Um, we're just having sausages, savoury rice and peas and sweet corn. Wasn't organised this morning, didn't put anything in. <laughs> um, I've had a bit of an uneventful day, so yeah. No excuse, I was just lazy. 
So I've just pinned two packets of this chicken savoury rice. Like I said to you the other day, I won't ever be making a pan of rice because I did it once and I'll never do it again. It was the worst rice I've ever tasted. And Andrew usually eats anything that he gets given for his tea. But he didn't eat this. <laughs> so it must have been bad. And then we've got sausages which I've burnt. Well, not burnt, but <laughs> they're very well done. As per usual. As I usually do overcook everything. I don't mind them like that, to be honest. I think I only had my dinner at three o'clock, so I'm not really hungry right now. Well, I'm not starving. Um, and then we've got just some peas and sweet corn. Katie's made herself something. It was avocado and... Um, I don't know what else it was. Something, Something along those lines. She loves avocado. I think she eats one every day. I'm not a big fan. So there's our tea and Alex tonight. He's gone to his friends and they're all going to the chippy and getting pizza and chips. So he's not in. I think he's coming in about nine, ten o'clock tonight because they're having on Friday nights. They tend to go around to somebody's house and have the tea and stuff like that. So it's just me and Andrew. Um, but yeah, today, I've been off work today and I've basically done nothing apart from run the kids around. I got a phone call this morning at five o'clock. Five o'clock in the morning, eldest son was asking for a lift to work. So I took him to work, took my daughter to work for ten o'clock. And then after that, what did I do? Oh, I filmed another video um, and everything five pounds haul so that's probably already out there now um and then picked my son up again at three took him home picked my daughter up at five and i've done nothing much in between so i think i've wasted my day off but there you go i get sick of running people around i think that's basically all i think i'm here for so we've got savory rice sausages and peas and sweet corn so that's Friday night's tea and I might add a shopping haul onto the end of this. I did buy a few little bits in Lidl the other day, like Christmassy bits. They weren't really, it wasn't a food haul, it was more like a bits, bits of wrapping paper, ribbon, Christmas chocolates. So I might add that onto the end of this, but we'll see. So um, that's it for tonight. Take care guys. Hiya guys, so now it's Saturday morning. And I've just done a little shop at the company shop near me. Um, I don't know if anybody else has got a company shop, but it's where you can go in and buy different things. Everything that's in there is from different supermarkets, different shops. So you can buy things from, say, Tesco, M&S, Morrison's, Wilkie's and everywhere else. It's basically things that have not got long left on the sell-by date. Um, and you need a card to go in, like an NHS card or, you know, that kind of thing. So, we didn't get everything. It's not a full shop, but it's just some cheaper bits than what you can get in, like, your supermarket. So, I'll just start at this side. We got two beef and vegetable pasties. I think they were about 75p. I don't know what shop they're from, because it doesn't say on the packet. Uh, got a little meal for my granddaughter for when she comes this afternoon. I'm not sure what she likes and what she doesn't like yet. I've not really sussed it out. We've got chicken jalfrezi. Um, that's a Sainsbury's one. I think it was one ninety five. But like you can see, the date's the twentieth, which is tomorrow. Um, we got two packs of garlic breaded kebabs. These are the twenty first. Um, but you can freeze them as well, so it comes in handy. They was about one pound fifty. So we've got two packs. Andrew got some of these beers. I don't know what brand they are. Because that's the joy of it as well. They have lots of different brands. So we got them. They was £3 something. We got two bottles of vanilla cola, which is really nice. And they was 90 pence each. 
we got some orange juice these tropicana ones they're the big ones i won't pick it up because i've got sore wrists um and you get two of the big ones for one pound fifty which is a bargain i know they're about two pounds something each aren't they so yeah we've got two of those they are the massive ones actually let me just see what's in it uh, 1.7 litres in that one. So they was... I don't know what's going on with my wrists. But yeah, we got them. Um, we got some sausages, which are from... Where are they from? <laughs> I've seen it once. I don't know. Hold on. I'm going to say... Could have been Tesco. No, it's Aldi. They are cheddar and onion pork sausages. Don't know the price. It was about pound fifty. We also got some buttermilk chicken strips, bird's eye, which was £2.80 a box. So I got two boxes because the kids love them. We got a Vionetta birthday cake, which was a pound. Not seen that one before. We also got some fish fingers, which were really cheap as well for the bird's eye ones. They was about £1.50, which is quite good because they've gone up quite a lot. We got some tempura chicken fillets. Um, I got three packs of these because we use a lot. So if we're all having tea together, I'll just put all, well, most of them in, all of the three packs. So the, the dates again, the 20th. I don't know if you can freeze them. Mm. Oh, yeah, home freezing you can do. Use within a month. So I think they was £1.50 as well. I got some Waitrose. Um, some of this ham which is four slices I do like this one and I know that is usually quite expensive isn't it? and that was 150 got some McCain chips sorry I keep moving the camera at a funny angle um, chunky chips which were £2 we always use lots of chips as you already know <laughs> um, some Euro chocolate mousses with caramel not sure how much they was I think they was a pound but I might be wrong Heinz chicken soup, which was 70p. They also had these, the Percy Pig um, fondant icing, you know, for making little cupcakes with. And that was, I think it was 120 or something like that. So I thought I'd buy that. My daughter's obsessed with Percy Pig, she loves it. And they had the dessert sauce as well, which is only 50p. So I thought I'd buy them. I might do a few cupcakes through the week for the kids. Oh, this, I feel like I'm holding my camera a bit odd today. Um, we got some mild chilli sauce, which was only 69p. We got some dog treats. Um, they only had this flavour, so I just picked this up. He's not had these before. And these were 90p. Carrot with chicken. Um, what else did I get? I got this, which is the skinny chocoholic sauce, the squeezy one. Chocolate and hazelnut, which I think was 90p. They also had these in. They have different stuff every time you go in, like whatever they get from the shops that they're, you know, they're trying to get rid of. So they had these. I thought I'd pick these up for some little stocking fillers. So the Soap and Glory. This one's the Shea Butter. It's like a little soap bar. And then they also got this one as well, which is the, the darker one. So that one is, that's the fruity one. And that's the more floral one, I think. Yeah, but... There was a quid, I think, a pound each. I also got this, which is, what is it? It's a body butter from Dirty Works. And it smells lovely. I had a little smell in the shop. So I picked that up. That was £2. Got some fabric softener, which is Morrison's own. That was only 40p. So I've got a few bargains. Where am I up to? I got a couple of trifles. They, oh, I didn't realise it was dairy free, but yeah, they was about 49 pence each. Got some baby yogurts. I love these. They're nicer than the actual adult ones. So got the munch bunch. They was a pound. We also got some of these fruit corners, which I love. And they was only 30p each. So I picked oh, about five of them ones up. Different crisps. We got some of these so, Flame Grill Steak, the big packs of 40p. So what's it's crunchies? These are the bigger packs than your average pack, but they're not the family pack, if that makes any sense. So they was 50p. They're the ones that look like, what's it called? Are they knickknacks? Crunchy ones, crunchy sticks. Um, yeah. Picked up these Doritos. Might have these with a dip. 
tonight watching telly. And they was only 80p. They also had these, which are four packs of ginger snaps from Sainsbury's. And it was £1.50 for the four. That was a good bargain. Um, near the end, we've got Mr Kipling's Chocolate Bites. I think there was a pound or £1.50. Also some um, mini crackers. I love crackers with cheese. And these was really cheap as well. I don't know if there was about 80p. Some more crackers. Cars Table Water Biscuits with Sesame Seeds. They was a pound. Some tomatoes. I don't know how much the fruit and veg was because it didn't have any prices on. Baby spinach because we use a bit of that. Some green beans and some onions. And that's basically everything from the company shop this morning. Oh, I can hear somebody shouting me in the background. Never get a minute's peace. So that is my shopping from the company shop. And it came to £55. I'll still need some other stuff from Aldi or Asda. But that's it for today, guys. Enjoy your weekend. Take care. Bye-bye.